Hi, today we are going to discuss and learn the art of doing objective refraction by using this magical tool called retinoscope. This is very useful, handy and must know art or technique for every eye care practitioner. But before doing the retinoscopy, one should know few important points. One is the, the alignment of the trial frame and your working distance. So usually my working distance is 67 centimeter. So at the end, I will deduct accordingly to get the net value. Another thing is the target that we give is the distance target of 660 to relax the accommodation. And the highly important thing that many of eye care practitioners mistake is the way they do the retinoscopy. Like for example, if you have to do the retinoscopy for the right eye, which is the ideal way to begin, always start with the right eye. And your retinoscope has to be in the right hand and use your right eye to scope the right eye of the patient. So everything should be right and both eye has to be open. When you are doing for the left eye of the patients, use hold your retinoscope in the left hand and use your left eye to do the retinoscopy. So these are the few important points and make sure your eyes level are parallel to the patient's eye and you are not coming in between the chart and the patient. So let's begin and do the retinoscopy. Friends, we have kept the room illumination dark. I'll check the nature of the glow. So what I can see is with movement and the thickness as well as the brightness of the glow is equal in all median of gaze. Now, when the moment we are moving the retinoscope up and down, the glow inside the pupil is also moving in the same direction. So we have to neutralize this with movement with plus lenses. So I have introduced plus lenses and I'm going to increase with the interval of 0.5. So now you can see even with plus 1.5 diopter sphere, the movement is still with. So we have to further increase. Now you can see there is a slightly change in the nature of the glow. So the moment we will reach towards the neutrality, neutral point, the glow will shift and change. So it is getting more sharper. Earlier it was little dull and wider. So now it is getting more thinner. And this is an indication and sign that we are getting closer to the neutrality. So I am going to further increase. And with 3.5 you can see vertically is still uh, with moment it is showing and now it has reduced the thickness has reduced you can see in the center of the people which is which has become very thin and let's see when it is getting neutral and how a neutral point appears so I am going to add 0.5 further to make it 4.5 now you can see suddenly that uh, the glow has become neutral you cannot see any movement inside so even in the horizontal meridian you must check in all different gaze so that you are not missing any uh, stigmatism or the cylindrical component so even in the oblique uh, meridian it is the glow is still the same it's neutral so it's a clear indication that it was a spherical power so with 4.5 let's see what happens if we increase these values so uh, adding 0.5 further with 4.75 it is showing against means we have over corrected it and if you go little lesser so let's see what happens if we make it 4.25 so it should be with yes it is with movement so this is confirmed that the value uh, of the neutral point has to be 4.50 and that is what the neutral values now we have to reduce the working distance as i mentioned in the beginning my working distance is 67 centimeter so for 67 centimeter i have to deduct 1.5 so it would be plus 3 diopter the net value of the retinoscopy now we are going to use this retinoscope to do the retinoscopy for a myopic eye so i'll be forming the retinoscopy in the left eye of the patient so you can see the retinoscope is in my left hand. I'll be using my left eye for the left eye of the patient. And I usually keep my both eyes open. So what I can see, 
against movement in all meridians you can see when a streak is moving the glow inside the pupil is moving in the opposite direction so usually for the against movement we have to use minus lenses concave lenses so i have introduced a lens with the minimum power of minus 0.5 and i am going to see when it is getting neutral or neutralized so see with minus one still the movement is against and now the thickness of the glow is getting more sharper and thinner so sharper and thinner is the indication that we are getting closer to the neutrality neutral point so even with minus 2.5 is against let me further increase and see what happens to the glow so with minus 3 now you can see this is appearing like a neutral so we'll check in all different meridians to confirm and we are not missing any astigmatism so i can see this is to me it is appearing neutral but still i'll cross check by increasing some values and see so with 3.25 i can see with movements so, so it means we have overcorrected it and if we decrease this value from lesser than 3 so it will be against movement means we require some more power so 3 is the correct uh, neutral point or ideal neutrality for that eye but again to get the net value of the retinoscopy we have to compensate our arm's length or working distance to me it is 67 centimeters so i have to deduct minus 1.5 diopter so th minus 3 adding minus 1.5 it will be minus 4.5 diopter as the net value as per the retinoscopy